back here again on the casting couch, folks, and this time we're joined by a gentleman who's synonymous in eyewear in fishing, and he's got a brand that he developed a few years ago after many, many years of belting his way through the optics game in fishing. His name's Doug from Tonic, and everyone knows Doug from Tonic. Doug, how are you going, mate? Good, thanks, Paul. It's great Good to have yourself. you on the couch. Thank you. Yeah, hey, it's uh, great couch. I hear a rumour you've got some new stuff coming out. That's we do. Pretty we cool. Do. Now, before we go into the new stuff, you've always had an awesome range of glasses and different types of lenses and frames to suit every fishing application. How's that going for you, mate? Pretty good. Uh, we've designed uh, a couple of new frames now in the market and a few mm. new lenses. Have you got any for a big fat box head like oh, this? Look, do you, want, do you want to have a look at this? <laughs> we can have a look at that in a minute. But yeah, no, I've got a big fat head and I seem to find difficult to find decent glasses, but I hear you've got one. Well, we've got the uh, new Uranium. It's uh, quite a unique uh, frame. It's got adjustable nose bridge, straight temples and a nice curve around here. So even if you've got a big flat face and a big box head, you've got a frame to fit everyone? Well, we certainly do. And that's proven here at the show, obviously. You yeah, see we've been here. Cool. We've had some amazing big heads in here. Uh, <laughs> like I've seen a few watermelons. Past, yeah, yeah. Serious watermelons. And you know, we've managed to fit everybody up. We had a bloke in here with a broken nose. Yeah, right. Crooked nose and, and one ear dropped, different heights and we bent the nose bridge out and brought out a bit foil forward and it, it fits in All like of a sudden that. he saw it, beautiful. And he, he couldn't get his wallet out, he said it's the first set of sunglasses, I, I kid you not. And even his wife said, thank God he's finally happy. <laughs> We've been looking at sunglasses for months and months, he's never been able to find a pair that fits him. These actually fit him. Cool. So it's an adjustable and adaptable pair of sunglasses. Now tell me, you've been in this game for a lot longer than people really know about it. The tonic's reasonably new to our market, but you've been doing glasses and lenses for a very long time, haven't you? Since 1989. Now I've had a play with some of your lenses. Mm -hmm. Not too shabby, mate. You've got some good products there. Now, getting onto the new stuff we spoke about just a moment ago, you've got one that's how, how thick is this glass lens? The new lens that we're doing is down to 1.3 millimetres. On the average, they're 2 mil thick yeah, and yeah. 50 grams. We've gone from 50 gram, oh, from 2.2 mil at 50 grams for a pair of lenses down to 36 grams mm -hmm. at, at 1.8 mil. And now we're going down to 1.3 mil at 22 grams. So we're going smaller, lighter every time, but we've still yeah. got the same range of optics or the same same clarity in the Abs glass. And absolutely, even better. Wow. So who, is anyone else in the in the world doing any of that? Stuff? Nobody else has got it yet. So a little bloke from Australia, Doug Phillips from Tonic, is doing world-breaking stuff here in our own backyard. It's been a little bit of Japanese technology yep. that we've been working with for nearly three and a half odd years mm -hmm. now. Um, it is, they've spent a lot of money on the, on the research and development. Yep. Um, people ask, uh, what about the impact resistance and everything else? The impact resistance is the same impact on drop ball at a 1.8 millimeter uh, thickness lens. Yeah, right, so you've gone smaller, but it's still just as tough and as strong as you're going to pull a Absolutely. sinker out and it's going to come flying at your face. You know oh, you're still going to be right. Totally. And you're not going to get an eye full of glass. To well, you certainly won't. Excellent. You certainly will not get that happen. The, the tensity in the, in the lens, a tensile, has spring. So okay. that gives us that buffer. Um, you know, and it's specially hardened, a different way of hardening. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you that technology because it's very unique. Yeah, secret squirrel. Folks. It's, you know, almost have to kill a few people <laughs> if we let that information out. But it seriously is an incredible lens. Right. The drop ball test is, uh, we've got world standards. Yep, yep. Uh, ISO all around the world. Now, if people at home want to find out a little bit more about uh, all of that sort of stuff you're doing and what Tonic's doing in the market, and is there a website they can go and have a look at, mate? Or is yep. it a Facebook page? Yep, or? yep. They, go to, they can go to uh, www. Uh, Tonic Eyewear. Tonic, tonic Eyewear. Tonic eyewear. Tonic eyewear. Com. Com. Awesome. And on Facebook, obviously, you've got a tonic Absolutely. site. Absolutely. We've got a so Facebook keep page. keep up with everything. Yep. No problem at all. Now, and it's a very active Facebook. I noticed you've got a couple of things sitting on the couch here. We've got a lot of people that are going to be watching these videos at home. Can I give them away to somebody sitting on a couch at home watching Ab this, uh, this broadcast? What do they have to do to win some sunglasses? Well, they've got, to, they've got to figure out who's got the best sunglass and who's got the lightest sunglass in the market in Australia. Bullshit, that's too easy. Well, I don't know, Paul, have you got any suggestions? <laughs> I reckon I might be picking... Oh, I'm not going to tell the folks at home. If they watch this clip a couple of times, they might have a fair idea, mate. So, yeah, uh, look, Doug, thanks very much for joining us on the couch here on no the problem. Casting Couch. We're gl I'm glad to have you on board. And 
sitting here with us joining us again. My pleasure. Always good to see you, Paul. Thanks, Doug. No worries. Thanks.